What's up guys, Ivan here with GetIvan.com. And today we have a question, how does your laptop survive with so many tabs open, Ivan? Every once in a while someone asks this kind of jokingly. Um, for one, I don't primarily use a laptop. I use a desktop machine and then I have uh, three different uh, remote servers that I use m mainly for scraping. I do have a, a Chromebook that I that I got that I sometimes use from bed, but uh, for this PC, this, let me show you this screenshot. These are my system specs. This is how my laptop or my, my PC survives. You can see here, I have a Ryzen 5 uh, six core processor, and that's really not a fancy processor these days. That's uh, you know, a high value uh, processor for a low price. Uh, so it's got a pretty solid like single core use, but not a, a very strong multi core processing capability. But what's interesting is, is that is actually much stronger than most people realize. And this is something that I kind of learned not too long ago. I used to run this machine on 32 gigs. And actually this past week I ran, uh, I upgraded my RAM to 128 gigs and um, it makes a huge difference. Look at this uh, system spec right now. So with all this stuff open at the moment, I'm utilizing 19% of the RAM and then the CPU is maybe at an average of 15%. So, and so that's really even nothing now compared to what's possible. And the main reason I upgraded the RAM is because of how much RAM is required in uh, image manipulation. Like with Inkscape, I was having lagging problems for a long time if the file got too large. And I've been using uh, Adobe After Effects recently which uses a huge amount of RAM because it actually stores the images in sequence inside the RAM. And so that was a big rendering problem and pre-rendering was a pain. So now I have the maximum amount of RAM that this motherboard can sustain uh, at DDR4 levels. So if you want, and it's really not that expensive. Like I think I spent, actually, I'm not quite sure. It might've been like couple hundred bucks maybe it was 400 bucks i don't know but the the processor and the ram are really not that much of an expense these days when it comes to machines the expense is on the gpu the, the graphics processor so when you have an opportunity on your main machine to upgrade your ram i 100 percent recommend that you do it even with this processor that i have like you know i can run games and i can run i can do video editing and i can do browser all at the same time now because the main thing that is is taxed is really the ram the all this other stuff does does not get taxed nearly as much as the ram does so that's how i do it and that's all there is to it thanks for watching like comment subscribe catch you later